Hello. Welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, as always. And today's weather is pretty mild out there. It's not as cold as it was yesterday. It's still chilly, but it's not as cold. As you know, I'm a massive Bruce Lee fan. Um, have been since the uh, late 70s, early 80s. And 2023 marks the 50th anniversary of his sad passing at the young age of 32 on July 20th, 1973. A nice mad, isn't it? So, this year, there's going to be some Bruce Lee stuff going on, obviously. Um, and also the movie that made him an international star. Also in 1973, Enter the Dragon. And that was released on the 19th of August, I mean just weeks after Bruce passed. It is just one of the biggest crimes, <laughs> you know, it's just so unfair. All the hard work that he put in in the Hong Kong movies, always wanted a break into America, never quite got there. Enter the Dragon blew the world apart, let's be honest. It literally started a whole wave of Kung Fu. Well, anyway, uh, about a month ago, it came about that Ang Lee, the director, is making another movie on Bruce Lee, um, another biopic, and starring his son, Mason. Interesting. Interesting timing. You know, Bruce Lee's 50th. And Ang Lee as a director. There's a lot of Lees. Ang Lee directing Mason Lee as Bruce Lee. <laughs> there's a lot of Lees in that. Now, over the years, there's been loads of Bruce Lee imitators. And I thought, before I start talking a little bit about my thoughts on the up-and-coming Bruce Lee. I think it's just going to be called that. Bruce Lee. Um, obviously, there's been Bruce Lee biopics, many, many cheap and nasty ones, and obviously the Jason Scott Lee one, Dragon the Bruce Lee story. Um, but I'll get to that in a little while. So before I start talking about it, let's go through some of the Bruce Lee imitators. There was a whole genre on the back of this. No other artist, as far as I'm aware of, ever had this. It was called Bruce Bloitation. Anyway, let's start off with the first. Ho Chung Tao, better known as Bruce Lai. And um, he showed us his very first copy of Bruce Lee in 1976's Bruce Lee, the Man, the Myth. Then you have Danny Lee, who played Bruce Lee in Bruce Lee, His Last Days, His Last Nights, in 76 as well. Learn Su Lung portrayed Bruce twice, once in The Dragon Lives Again in 1976, and in Jeet Kune Do in 2010. Wang Chen Lung, he imitated Bruce Lee um, with the film Bruce Lee, King of Kung Fu. Then you've got one of my favorites, Dragon Lee. He plays Bruce Lee in The Last Fist of Fury, 1977. And this was featured in the documentary, The Real Bruce Lee in 1979. And then you've got Kim Tai Chuang, who probably starred in the biggest Bruce Bloitation movie of them all, Game of Death in 1978. And he also starred in the film No Retreat, No Surrender as Bruce Lee's Ghost back in 1985. David Wu had a go at playing Bruce Lee in the ATV series Spirit of the Dragon. Obviously, Jason Scott Lee plays Bruce in 1993's Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. Arif Rahman played Bruce in 2010's Bruce Lee, My Brother. Philip Ng plays Bruce in The Birth of the Dragon in 2016. And obviously Mike Mower's portrayal of Bruce Lee in Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. 
not really sure about that. That I think he sounded brilliant. He sounded like Bruce, but it was my bugbear. But it was once upon a time in Hollywood, so it was a story. It was obviously a story. The Manson murders. I digress. Ang Lee. Where would he go with this? Um, he's not one of them directors like Tarantino, like Hitchcock, like Stanley Kubrick, where you can actually say, that's definitely an Ang Lee film. They're so different from one another. The ones I've seen, I haven't seen all of his films. I haven't seen all of his films. But I have seen, obviously, the the one that broke him to me in the year 2000, which was uh, Chow Yun Fat's Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, which was amazing, a little bit floaty around the trees, but I really enjoyed the movie. It was wonderfully and beautifully shot. Then in 2003, he directed The Hulk, starring Eric Banner. A lot of people rip on that, but for the time, 2003, I thought it was amazing. I really enjoyed it. Actually, I need to watch that again. After that, he'd done Brokeback Mountain with Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal. And yeah, I did watch it. And obviously, he's done Life of Pi. So he's quite a diverse... I mean, Life of Pi was visually stunning, wasn't it? Do you remember? So he's really a diverse director. It'll be really, really hard um, to know where he's going with this. Now, his son, Mason Lee, he was born May 30th, 1990. He's now aged 32. The age when Bruce Lee passed away. He does look a little bit like Bruce. Like, certainly young Bruce, when you see a picture of him together with his tie and stuff. I can see a resemblance, but who knows what Ang Lee's going to do. I don't know if Mason can do martial arts. I have no idea. He's best known for... He's got a role in Hangover Part 2. But I haven't seen him act, so I really, really don't know. But obviously his dad has faith in him. Um, hopefully they'll get a really good script. I would say a brilliant resource for that would be Matthew Polly's book, Bruce Lee Alive. But I don't know whether it's going to be Bruce Lee's film career, you know, that sort of part of his career, or the up-and-coming struggle that he had breaking into Hollywood. I really don't know. I really do have a soft spot for Rob Cohen's um, Bruce Lee film, but it's very fantasy-driven. It's just It's got great music by Randy Eidelman, I think it is, so that score I kind of associate now to Bruce Lee, funnily enough. Um... But yeah, probably, I'm quite excited about it, to be honest with you. And up to date. And also, I suppose it would be fair to mention, as well as all the other Bruce Lee imitators, Warrior. There's only been two series, um, and it's got so many Bruce Lee references. If you haven't seen it and you're a Bruce Lee fan, treat yourself. And the filmed Warrior season three has just got to be all put together, I, I do believe. Shannon Lee's working closely with this team. And me and... My wife absolutely love Warrior. And it's a series when it came out, season three comes out. I'm going to go back and watch season one and two again. So many Bruce Lee references. I may do a video about it one day, point a few out. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm quite excited about this. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take him to make this movie. So will, will it be released this year? It would be appropriate, being the 50th anniversary of Bruce. Um... Yeah. Interesting. Let's just see what... I'm looking forward to seeing the trailer I went, when they finally sat down and started working it all out. These things can take ages, I know, but it would be nice to see a trailer just to wet our beaks a little. Right, so there you go. Um, That's all I know so far. Obviously, this came out about a month ago, so I'm a little bit late to the party, but a couple of comments I'll get on some of my videos is I'll, I'll come here for your Bruce Lee content, and I don't do a lot. I don't do a lot. Like I said, there's a lot of brilliant um, Bruce Lee channels on YouTube. I've mentioned before, Dave Love, Charles Damiano, and they're collectors. Or if you want to hear stuff about Bruce Lee, and this guy, Alex Richter, I think his name is, or something like that. He's a Kung Fu genius, and he does a podcast once, twice a week. The guy knows so much. He's had Matthew Polly on there. He's had John Little. You know, he's had, he's had some top Brucey people, and he knows his stuff. So, I highly recommend you listen to The Kung Fu Genius if you're a Bruce Nut. But, um, yeah, that's about it, really. I'm quite excited. Always a little bit apprehensive, because as soon as we compare everyone to Bruce, and let's be honest, Bruce Lee jumps out of the screen. His facial expressions, his charisma, 
he just jumps out the screen. I defy you want to look at someone else why Bruce Lee's on the screen. He's just got that magnetism. Let's hope they recreate it, you know. Let's, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. But anyway, looking forward to it. That's it. <laughs> just my thoughts. Right, guys. Um, I'm going to love you and leave you now. Have a great week. And I'll be back with another ramble. Real soon. Bye now.